Um, one thing we know for sure is that that man in the Oval Office is crazy as hell. We know that much. We know Joe Biden is crazy as hell. We know the people who bag him are crazy as hell. And guess what? Whoever takes the office after him will be crazy as hell. These are megal megalomaniacs that we deal with. And they'll promise you the world and give you an ice cream cone. I'm going to bring him on in. I got to bring my guy in. Without further delay, I got to say, what's up, Carl? How's it going? Hey, Rashid. Long time no see. Good to see you. Yeah, again. man. I'm so glad to have you here, Carl. Um, let's chop it up um, because I don't want to waste any time. I want to pick your mind. I haven't been able to pick your mind for a while. So what, from, from the outside looking in, what is your perspective on the um, Palestinian-Israeli conflict? Well, this is just a continuation of anti-colonial struggle the Palestinian people have faced for the last 70, uh, 70 odd years. This is uh, this, uh, the, the mainstream media is trying to convince you everything started on October 7th. You know, mm -hmm. this started in 1948, even beyond. I mean, this, the, the, the Zionist project was started in the late 19th century when uh, the British Empire tried to di you know, divide and conquer. You know, they, they tried to divide up the Ottoman Empire, and then we got in cahoots with, uh, with the head Zionist, uh, and 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 they Herschel, and then they they decide, okay, we let, let's uh, let's let's have a homeland for the Jewish people, so they don't have to stay in Europe. You know, so that <laughs> this is this is basically their goal. And, and and in fact, at that time, the only Jewish uh, MP in the British Parliament was against the project. You see, it's like, wait, wait, what's the idea here? We are we are okay, you know, like. We're supposed to just deport all the Jews from Europe and send them to Middle East. You know what's a big idea, and and but but that that was was the idea of the Zionist project, and and basically in 1940, in after World War II, the, the Europe which bears the burden for committing the atrocity of the Holocaust wants to pass off instead of you know facing up their guilt and and do the, the appropriate appropriation they decide you know what we're going to let the arabs pay the cost we're the arabs is going to pay for our sins by we're going to ship all these jewish people to palestine and so so this is what we end up with and so so you have people from brooklyn now they have a right uh, they're entitled to a piece of palestinian land if they just buy a ticket and go to go to so-called Israel, and, and whereas the Palestinians themselves, who has been living in the land for centuries, they are now being asked to evacuate Gaza. Israel told people of Gaza to move from northern Gaza to southern Gaza, and then Israel proceeded to bomb southern Gaza. And like the, the argument is like Hamas is using women and children as human shield. Where can they go? Freaking Gaza is the world's largest open air prison. You are freaking tossing about firebombs in a prison. And, and where can these people go? And now they're saying, oh, why don't the Arab country take them? Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Most Israeli citizens have double passport. They actually have the option to go to New York, go to London, go, 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 uh, go to Paris, go elsewhere. But... Uh, the, People in they're asking people in Palestine to go to other people's countries because you know they, they and, and this is actually the actual project the US is financing because let's face it, it's been two months since October, and is there's no way Israeli war machine can carry out its operations for t over two months without ammunition supplies from the United States because Israel is not a great industrial power, it, it does uh. You know, the, the, the American empire is very compartmentalized. Israel's focus on like the research department wing of the empire. They, they don't have the industrial manufacturing capacity because they have to import all these munitions from the United States. That's why U.S. is now saying, I'm sorry, Ukraine. <laughs> I got priorities because Israel is our golden boy. We, we got to take care of our golden boy. So all these 
artillery shells that you you really want sorry we, we you can't have them we, we got to send them to to israel and, and 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 another reason because we we often talk about america has de-industrialized voluntarily for so long now contrary to what jenna yellen said u.s cannot afford a two-front war it cannot afford it it's 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 not even a, a matter of affording the war it's a U.S. can't even have, doesn't have the industrial capacity to supply a two-front war, uh, even 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 proxy war, and 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 some crazy chicken hawks in Washington think they can take on China. I mean, that's totally insane. Like right now, the the balance of power in terms of manufacturing capacity, uh, China versus United States, is like World War II, U.S. versus Japan. Whereas you, China, United States is in the position of Imperial Japan, you know, in 1941. And, 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 and this has all happened because the U.S. capitalist class decided it's a good idea to offsource and hollow out the U.S. Uh, 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 industry because they want to make more money. They want to chase, you know, the, 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 the lowest labor costs. They want, to, they, want to, they want to chase after their bottom line. So they thought... Let's financialize everything. We don't need to actually make stuff here. We'll just make people in the third world produce stuff for us. You know, it works perfectly. It's a great plan. And now they're suddenly waking up. Oh, holy crap. You know, China is now this industrial giant and we depend on them for everything. And, mm-hmm. and, and, and maybe we need, to, we need to do something called de-resting, but that's too late. It's, it's like we, we talk about this them uh, seem again and again and, and and the people in washington they they actually I, I actually think they know this is a bad position us is in it, it, especially in middle east because uh this is uh, this is not i don't think this is something they plan for because you have jake solomon the national security advisor to biden just before october 7th he, he went on uh, air you know publicly saying well middle east hasn't been this calm for a long time and we take full <laughs> credit for that because <laughs> you know because our the biden administration have, have worked our magic so the middle east is is it's totally calm uh, uh, and then you know and, and he blew up in their face so so they weren't prepared for this two-front war and and now they're they're scrambling and 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 and, and but they're so stuck in like the old thinking that despite 70 percent plus percent of americans a po- a, you know want ceasefire now but our so-called elected p- officials still going like 100 percent rah-rah israel like joe biden he, he just spoke at a hanukkah uh, dinner and he said well you don't have to be jew to be a zionist i am a zionist mm-hmm. and, and 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 guess what and guess what? The U.S. Congress just passed a law said anti-Zionism is anti-Semitism. So now, <laughs> because Jew, because Biden is a Zionist, if you're anti-Biden, you are anti-Semite. I mean, this is <laughs> the stupid logic they're coming up with, and, and that the, 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 they're making literally make the, the U.S. Congress. So I I like, love to say U.S. Congress has the best politicians the money can buy. <laughs> I guess now that's an anti-Semitic statement, you know, like now that that placed me in the same same corner as Kanye West, right? <laughs> By saying shit like that, and and this is they're trying to climb on descent because they they actually know this is bad. This looks really really bad. That's why they're they're twisting. They're they're doing their best to twisting headlines. You know, every time you read about Palestinian casualty in Gaza, it's all like uh, death happened. You know, like death happened to the Palestinian. It's like a <laughs> passive tense. And uh, and I, I read the latest Israeli newspaper report. They're actually talking about now the Israelis themselves are worried. There's so much death and destruction in Gaza, and there's so much destruction of infrastructure, especially with the destruction of the capital in in, in Gaza. Now they're, they're afraid that infectious disease like cholera etc will spread to the israeli population um but they have to like twist themselves in a pretzel to come up with a headline for that they say uh morbidity the morbidity increase in gaza is having israeli concern it's like look i wonder where did that morbidity suddenly happen it it happened when you dropped 
shit tons of bombs on these people. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and you know, this, this is, we, we live in the bizarro world, Rashid. I mean, I, that's why I, every time on your show, I'm always going on rant because I've been holding all this thing stuff in. This, this is, we, we live in a total bizarro world and we have a, 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 a ruling elite that completely does not care about the public opinion, about what the rest of the flips are thinking because that they're, they're they continually in, uh, act in a way uh, contradicting the most the popular opinions in the United States. You know, we're supposed to be the world's greatest democracy. You know, <laughs> like we have a choice, and and yet the, the politicians are all lining up to see who is more pro-Israel. I mean, look look at the look at the re Republican. You know, the, that 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 clown show of a presidential debate. Right, and you have people like Nikki Haley's, like uh, you know, Ra Ra Israel, and 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 it's like, I, I, wait, I, 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 is this a debate about the pre, you know, who is going to be the president of the United States or who is going to be the president of Israel? It's like, who, who, which country are you serving here? And, and 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 for a person like me, why I I don't care about Israel? Look, like this is why I I need to. Devote, you know, you 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 are hijacking the entire country, uh, the apparatus of the United States, to serve your golden child, Israel. But that's your golden child. That, that, that Israel is your Congress golden child because they're getting all the foundings for uh, uh, APAC and everything. And 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 what the what the rest of the Americans are getting stuck with moral burden of knowing that our tax dollars goes into. Uh, raining bombs on children of Gaza, I and mean, this is this is really obscene. And th just a couple of days ago, the UN just passed a resolution calling for a ceasefire, immediate ceasefire. And of course, United States is among ten countries that that objective veto. Now, UN resolution, Rashid, we both know there's the most toothless resolution that 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 that, no, that especially Israel never, you know. Care to implement yet even a, a, a toothless resolution like the UN resolution, you, United States doesn't have the decency to abstain. You know they, they could just abstain from the vote. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. They have to go against the grain and and vote against it when the whole world it want want just peace. And and so so right now U.S. is really burning up its credibility around the world right now. Uh, this is the reason when Putin traveled to Middle East, he's getting fitted around in Saudi Arabia, in, in UAE. They're rolling red carpet out for him because people are looking for leadership elsewhere. No, nobody thinks Joe Biden, you know, knows what he's even talking about half of the time. And he have um, what's a, what's a, a, a Biden also just said in the Hanukkah dinner that he said, my father, you know, survived. October 7th Hamas attack seven sixty five years ago. I mean, <laughs> but we know this year's Hanukkah is different. It's been 65 years since the deadliest day of the Jewish people since the Holocaust. 65 years. You know, after October 7th, my father, a uh, father returned to his kibbutz to salvage what he could from his home. And what was left was in the rubble and ruin. The home which hid which he had hidden in with his wife and his daughter for 20 hours before being rescued. Oh. <laughs> okay, we, we know this guy, half his mind is gone already. And, and, and so, so right now we have a senile, old, declining, decrypt empire led by a senile, decrypt man with, with half his mental faculties. And the ship is think, sinking. And this is why we have, in the latest UN resolution, you have the traditional U.S. vassal states like Canada, New Zealand, and 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 and, and they all all they are all calling for ceasefire now. The rats are the, the ship is sinking, and the rats are trying to get out. You know, <laughs> all, all the rats are scrambling to to get off the board because they they all see this is real looking really really bad. This is the internet age. You know, this so only so much you can you can censor and control the narrative. And maybe he does have dementia, but if he has dementia, he shouldn't be in office, right? Because the man sits at, quote unquote, the most powerful seat 
um, on the planet with power, the, the so-called president of the United States. And if he has dementia and they allow him to sit there, then he's a danger and a detriment to not only the security of the United States, but to the entire globe because he has his finger on the nuclear dial that can uh, ignite nuclear war. So um, that showed, in essence, that shows you the, the, the insanity of American leadership um, to, to allow him to remain in power and have this cabal around him to run the show, knowing that this man may be senile and could uh, initiate a thermonuclear war. That shows you the insanity of this. But Carl, I wanted to go back to something. I wanted to ask you something. Um, you know, uh, and this is back on the, uh, before we move on something else, this is back on the um, Palestinian-Israeli conflict. I noticed the, the, the line that almost everybody speaks without a second thought, be it mainstream media or alternative media. They always use this phrase, of course, Israel has the right to exist. They use that phrase all the time without stating that Palestine has a right to exist and they so so how does israel automatically has this right to exist and i'm not saying it doesn't you know you got to be careful on on the platforms of their de de platform you but how can on one hand they say that israel has the right to exist on palestinian land i might add but the palestinians don't have the right to resist or to uh reacquire their land by any means necessary Right. I mean, th this is this is facetious, just like they also always ask any Arab or Muslim guest who come to mainstream channel to talk about the conflict. The first question they always ask, do you condemn Hamas? Do you condemn Hamas? Nobody asks, do you condemn Israel? Right. I mean, like th this is there's no moral equivalency here. First of all, like it, it, the, 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 Israel is the occupying power. Um, does Israel have a right to exist? Fine, let's return to the 1967 borders, or or or, or even better, 1948 UN resolution. You know, like like let, let, let's do that. I mean, that this is what the the, the two state solution is all about, right? So both Israel and, and and Palestine can coexist, but this is not what Netanyahu wants. This is not what many of the Israeli establishment want. They want the greater Israel. And, and but now now they're actually make now now they're saying the slogan from river to sea is a slogan for genocide. That's crazy, you know. Like from river to sea, it, it, Palestine must be free. That's just they're calling for free Palestine, but they're saying no. That means the genocide of the Jewish people. It's like nobody's calling for that. No, it's, it's only in your mind. And 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 this is a lot of projection again. This is why uh, Biden was recently saying, if it wasn't for the state of Israel, the Jews would not feel safe anywhere in the world. I was like, what? What are you saying? You're saying the United States would not take care of its own Jewish citizens? And then, then I was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, that's true because U.S. doesn't care about its citizens at all. <laughs> and, you know, I'll let, the only people that care about is the people who have shit tons of money. You know? and, 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 and you know, or, or if you're Jeffrey Epstein, you know, you, you know, and like, like that. I mean, I'm Jeffrey Epstein, man. This, this man was obviously getting, uh, you know, was obviously linked to foreign uh, intelligence services like Mossad. You know, they have so much blackmail, uh, dirt on everybody, all the important politicians and businessmen. But uh, right now, how is bombing Gaza? Defending Israel, right? I mean, like we we all know that that's 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 bogus. And and, and right now the the, the 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 we have real on air footage of a real atrocity, real war crime being committed. They're stripping men naked and parade them in front of the camera, and then they release those photos. And and re somehow these Israeli propagandists really think these image being share all over the world is going to supposed to help their cause i mean I, I don't i don't i don't understand what that mental gymnastic is but I, I think at this point they just don't care anymore because they know uh united states have their back no matter what that's basically what uh bb Netanyahu said he said yeah the, the americans are gullible you know we'll, we'll make them do what, what we want and and which is 
true, you have to say, because that, that's Biden is out there proclaiming himself a Zionist right now. And but I, I'm, I'm going to push back on you on a little bit about Biden, uh, uh, you know, like because because I think he is a perfect candidate for the deep state. Because now you have a clear puppet who, who half the time can't even form coherent sentences. And they, there's always a plausible uh, deniability when, when Biden goes out and says something crazy. They're like, no, no, no. He's just a senile old man. He doesn't mean it. He's like a nice grandpa, really. But, but like, this is, this is why they, uh, you know, the, the, and, and let's face it, I, I don't even think by people, they let him touch the nuclear launch button at this point. <laughs> like, like Biden has his handlers, and 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 for those handlers, they just roll him out, uh, uh, like for to give him speeches once in a while, and then. But they they are running the show. I I, I don't. Nobody thinks Biden is actually running the show. I mean, this, this is why you have a leader without responsibility. He can say whatever he wants. Uh, and 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 if he, 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 he get bad public reception, they can backtrack and say, "Oh, he doesn't really mean it." You know, he doesn't really know what he's talking about. And uh, but but back to the, the 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 whole Israeli thing, they are actually turning the whole world's opinion against them. You know, back in this is a big difference from like early '90s. I remember when I came to first came to the United States in 1990. Back then, even talk about Palestinian statehood is like a no-no. Like, at least in the, in the, uh, in the political arena. I, I even remember there was a time, yes, there was a time when, when Hillary Clinton got, his, you know, pillarized in the U.S. media because supposedly at some point in time, he's, she said she was for Palestinian statehood. And then they all say she is a communist and pinko. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that was the kind of the world we, we live in, you know, freaking Hillary Clinton, Clinton right? And, 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 but, but the world has moved on. Uh, uh, now most of the people around the world sympathize with the people of the Palestine. The only people who are, who are standing with Israel are these politicians who are so out of touch with their own public. And and so I think this is actually it it, it doesn't bode for Israel because they are um, you know they're running against the clock they're they're, they're they are they're look the things they're doing they're you know no matter there's only certain amount of goodwill you can buy with money around the world you know sure money can accomplish a lot. But there's only a certain amount that they have already pushed against their limit. And, and, and right now, um, people are waking up and, and seeing the, the, the horrible atrocity happening in their own timeline. And, and I, you know, I don't know how Israel can continue to perpetu perpetuate because they are they, they say they're, again, they're, they're going after Hamas, but the Hamas is intact. Hamas leadership is intact. Israel actually took out Hamas senior leadership many times before, but Hamas has replaced them. Uh, and, and with these, all, this public humiliation, they're subjugating the Palestinian people. They are perpetuating the resistance. I mean, the, the best recruiter, uh, like recruiting poster for Hamas or any Palestinian resistance group is what Israel is doing right now. They're, they're killing doctors and babies and, 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 and uh, leaving babies abandoning in incubators. Remember this, 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 this sob story about Iraqi troops mm -hmm. throwing babies out of incubators? Mm -hmm. Today, this is happening in real time, which the White House spokesman doesn't even deny. But he said, oh, that's all Hamas fault. How is the Hamas fault when freaking Israel went to the hospital, told all the doctors and nurses to evacuate, and this medical staff begged them to take care of the babies in incubators who can't move out, you move out. And then a few days later, people come back and saw rotting corpse of babies in the incubator. The, the, we, we are living the real, like the real bad world that they project the, the, the Washington, his enemy is actually, uh, you know, all these atrocities they're supposedly carrying out. I, right now, because it's done by Israel, uh, it's all hush hush and it's all like, we got to stand with Israel and and we got to 
Israel has a right to defend itself. I mean, if 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 Israel's right to exist and Israel's right to defend itself means it has to kill babies, it has to 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 target innocent civilians and wipe out Palestinian journalists. Maybe Israel doesn't have a right to exist. I'm sorry, they call me as anti-Semite. <laughs> if that's a, if the only way to perpetuate your existence is inflicting genocide on other people, then there's some some obviously something wrong with your institution. And mm-hmm. and, and, and and again, this is all because Netanyahu do not want a Palestinian state. They do not want to to have coexistence. You know, they do not want two state solutions. So so. And and the one state solution they have is for a Jewish or apartheid state because they can't give equal rights to the Palestinians living on this land because right now there is an equal portion of uh, Palestinians and Jewish people in in the, between the River of Jordan and and the Mediterranean Sea. And if they give the equal rights to the Palestinians, that means it's no longer a Jewish state, which was a specific go of the zionist project the whole zionist project is create a specifically ethno religious jewish state they're they're not their goal was not to spread democracy to the middle east you know spread democracy one man one vote they can't have that because that means the end of the jewish state and Mm -hmm. and so you know that this is a choice they're facing they want to have their cake and eat it too they want to have one state but only with the, the jews at the top and the Palestinian on the absolute bottom uh, remain permanently downtrodden underclass. They're not even second class citizens because they don't have citizenship rights. They they are being uh, you know they're being bombarded. They're being subjected to daily humiliation of going through thousands of Israeli checkpoints just to go uh, do the daily routines or go to their schools. And and they have Israeli sellers throwing garbage onto you know the Palestinian uh, houses down below and and like anybody who kind of knows any history of 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 palestine would would see this is gross injustice and and the 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 politicians are willing to close their eyes and shut off their ears is because their palms are being greased somewhere and and they understand that the, the the weirdness of u.s electoral politics means none of the politicians feels they can afford to uh, be seen as anti-Israel, and and this is this is where uh, you know so, so to the point that Biden is basically screwing all the all his Muslim voter base for the Democrats because I don't think he's getting any Muslim votes coming twenty twenty four, and then you have all these liberals say, how could you do that? How could you let Trump take over? Look, Biden is allowing genocide of their people happening. Uh, of their cousins or their families in the Palestine, why? I mean, why would they continue to vote vote for this this man? It's it's a uh, uh, you know this is the, the, the it doesn't mean they're going to vote for Trump. It just means they're not going to vote. And what you're going to have is you're not going to have that swing vote in in battleground state like Michigan. And uh, we're going to look at Trump presidency looks increasingly likely <laughs> every day and. Uh, and, and this is what the United States were working with. We we're coming 2024. We, we have, again, two choices again, Biden or Trump. And <laughs> we, this is, uh, uh, I mean, now, now, now we're talking about the right of United States to exist because we, we, have, we have obviously a failed dysfunctional system. And everybody's in denial about it, especially our politicians. Uh, you know, they, they talk about some nonsensical subject like like Rick, uh, Rick Scott from Florida just said Chinese garlic is a national security to the United States. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Like, like, OK, I, I, I have to think about this for a second. And I realized, wait, vampires don't like garlic. <laughs> so this totally makes sense. It totally makes sense. Why a U.S. congressman thinks that garlic is a national security issue? Um, but look, the, 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 we, we all know it's a clown show in Washington and, and, and right now, but these clowns are enabling a real 21st century genocide happening in Palestine. Washington is actually pressuring the Arab countries right now 
to agree to Israeli plans by accepting Palestinians. So, so what they want is they want to kick all the Palestinians out of Gaza Strip, move them to, to Arab countries as refugees, just like a repeat of 1948, uh, Nakba, right? Except it's happening again in 2023. So they can cleanse the land of Gaza uh, of Palestinians. So the is Israel can move in and, and quote unquote rebuild it. And, and, and uh, what's the plan? They're going to be my Palestinian back. You know, we, we've seen this script before. We saw that happen in 1948 and 1967. And uh, the, 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 this, is, this, is, this is called ethnic cleansing. You know, like you, you, they say, um, this is why they're trying to shut down dissent by saying, oh, river to the sea, from river to the sea is a genocidal slogan. To be anti-Zionist is anti-Semitism. I don't think most people, even like the people who are voting for it, even believe that. They just want to cut off dissent. They don't want people like you, me, average people, and pointing out the hypocrisy of the situation. And the questions are they're, they're, they're very questionable choices. And so they're like, you can't talk about it because you are now an anti-Semite by decree, by our decree. And, and, and anything else, we're going to deplatform you. You know, that's why Elon Musk said after the advertisers threatened to pull out of Twitter, they say that that's what he said. River from river to the sea and uh, is, a, is a genocidal slogan will get you the platform. And, uh, you know, we if, if anything, I we are you and I, Rashid, we're here to committing genocide of stupid <laughs> ideas, of stupid <laughs> ideas of these stupid politicians who mm -hmm. only cares about their own you know pockets. I'm sorry, I, I, that was my rant. <laughs> hey, and I love it, and I love it. And I want to um, uh, put a little uh, exclamation mark behind what you were saying about the river to the sea. Most people don't know that that was actually started by Israel, um, it, but the Palestinians modified it and, and, and uh, for their benefit because the Israeli, Israelis were talking about that first. So if it's <laughs> genocidal, then you got to lay blame on Israel for it. But of course, that goes over most people's heads. But I, um, yeah, yeah. So I, I, actually, okay. when, when the Israeli context, when they're talking about they, the, the greater Israel should yes. exist from the river Euphrates, which yep. is in Iraq, to the Mediterranean Sea, like that, the, the real greater Israel. They're literally just going to replace all these Arab nations, Arab countries, and create this this new giant settler colonial state. In, in the Middle East. And this is why a lot of the Euro, Euro, European and American leaders support it, because guess what? This is what they have been doing all these centuries. The, the, the same same settler colonial project. And, 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 and you know, they, 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 they see their own. Well, most of most of Israeli are their own people. You know, <laughs> you had, they, all, all of them have like double passport. They have the option to go to New York. To go to go to go to go to travel to all those places because they have the passport. But Palestinians do not have enjoy that luxury. They 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 live um, many of them live generations as refugees, and now they're getting bombed again. <laughs>